going on producers? Let's talk about the smoothest major seven chord for thick, lush vibes. Hashtag keep it thick. So what's the voicing itself? Let's take a look at it note by note, hand by hand. Again, this is a major seven chord, so it's nothing crazy out of this world. I'm gonna demonstrate it in the key of E major because I really like how it sounds in this key. Although I'd highly recommend taking this voicing throughout all the keys so you can get used to how it sounds and whenever you're writing in the key of B flat or maybe you're writing in the key of E flat or A flat or C major, you have it down under your fingers and you're not trying to have to figure it out. So we could talk about some ways to practice this towards the end of the video, so stick around for for that. So here's the voicing. In the left hand, we're going to play the first, the fifth, and the ninth. Really, really simple, right? One, five, nine. And then in the right hand, what we're going to do is we're going to play three, five, seven, and three again. And that gives us just like really nice spread. Now, if you notice that three is in parentheses, if you want, you can leave that out of the voicing. So you would just get, and that way we're not playing two threes. And this will give you a slightly more open sound, but when you have that three in the middle, it makes it sound just a little fuller, a little denser. So a small little nuance there, but I personally like to include that in there, especially when I'm going for those thick, lush vibes. Keep it thick. Now what I find really special about this voicing is we can actually just take this right hand shape, which happens just to be a minor chord, and we can take it up the piano, and it gives us some nice arpeggios to play with while having this kind of open sound at the bottom. So we have, right? And we can kind of flurry up there. And you know, it's, that sounds really fancy, you know, especially if like you're putting that into your productions. But really all you're doing is you're taking this exact shape, playing it here, and then playing it here. And if you want, you can add maybe one, you can double one of those notes in the left hand, just so you can get some more thickness, right? But gives you just such beauty and all I'm doing is repeating exactly what's here in different parts of the piano. So what I highly recommend you do is that you take this voicing around the different keys so that you can get used to it. So an easy way to do it, I would start in C, then you can go up to F, then you can go to B flat, then you can go to E flat, then you can go to A flat. I might as well keep going, right? D flat, G flat, B, now we're at E, then we can hit A, get hit D, we can hit G, and then we're back to C. And you see how that, just in doing that, sounded beautiful. And then once you get used to that, you know, you can maybe start adding the flurries in there as you start to go around the different keys. That's gonna be a really great way to lock this down in your muscle memory. So that when you're in the dawn, when you're creating your tracks and you wanna use some thick, lush vibes, you don't have to be like, oh, what was that voicing again that he was saying? You could just, boom, hit it. It's already right there under your fingers. By the way, that level of detail in the instruction where I take one idea and I bring it through all the 12 keys and show you how to do it on camera is exactly how I teach inside the Piano for Producers community. So if you wanna be on our live calls and you want access to hundreds of lessons that teach you just like this and show you how to do things in every single key so that you could just watch me do it and copy me, join us inside the Piano for Producers community today. All the details are in the description below. So go ahead and click that link. I'll see you inside. If you're digging this voicing and you'd like me to make videos on other voicings for major chords, minor chords, altered chords, some tension chords, then drop the word voicings in the comments. And if I see that you guys are interested in this topic, I'll share with you my favorite voicings that I'm using all the time in my productions. As always, if you're liking this video, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one. This is Bruce Beats. Peace.